Brazil is still one country, so a lot of aspects of different cultures are combined and, and meshed into, into one sort of identity. And so when you go to that region, you find out where some of those aspects of that Brazilian identity come from. From my personal experience, I have actually lived with homestays on a couple of times, on a couple of occasions when I was living abroad. But I would very much prefer living with, uh, with other students from that country, simply because they are of the same age. Some of them understand what one is going through when they go abroad and they live in a, in a new country and when they live on their own. They also know what's going on in the city. They know what's cool, what's fun, and, and, and what's worth going to visit. Uh, something that I discovered in Sao Paulo that was a really fun surprise was a thing called Sesqui. There are Sesquis all over Brazil, but there's a lot in Sao Paulo, especially. And these community centers throw on plays, they have concerts, they have uh, art, art events, exposition. So very accessible and a really great way to get in touch with the culture and to enjoy theater pieces and to enjoy music in Sao Paulo. Well, I feel like the CET excursions were something that I could have done on my own. Absolutely not. One example is we visited this really interesting place. We went to this, how can I put it, it's like a restaurant type artisan art workshop <laughs> slash school slash health center. It's not a mainstream kind of place. I mean, how would I have ever been able to find it? That, I don't think I would have. Studying in Brazil has deepened my understanding of Brazil and Latin America. And so I see now the challenges that Latin America faces and where sort of I could fit into that, into that equation, where I could go and contribute my services or where I can work.